Okay, let's pray. Gracious Father in heaven, Lord, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for your heaven and for us woke up among the living once again. We thank you for the night. We thank you for helping us come to you this morning to study your word. As we start the week, may you be with us and above all, may you help us memorize and learn what we are going to learn in Jesus' name and do believe and pray. Amen. So, uh, this week's theme is service beyond self. In brackets, I put <coughs> I put a subtitle that is bearing others' burdens. Uh, Romans chapter fifteen, verse one to seven. We are going to be reading from the book of Romans chapter fifteen. Verse 1 to 7. So I'm, I'm reading from the good news. Verse 1 says, the reason as to why I did seven verses is that we are going to be following up and adding on a verse each day. So today we are going to concentrate on verse 1, which says, We who are strong in faith ought to help the weak to carry their burdens. We should not please ourselves. I like the good news version because it is loud and clear. There is no need to interpret a lot of words, I repeat. We who are strong in faith ought to help the weak carry their burdens. We should not help, we should not please ourselves. That's what it says. In the New International Reader's Version, it uses the word scrapples. It says, uh, we who have strong faith no, I think it's the New King James. It has to be the New King James. It uses the word scrapples, meaning a feeling of doubt or hesitation. So we have our communities, we have our churches, we have our friends that we work with. And we have realized, one thing that I've realized that among us, there are people, we, we have uh, certain groups of people. We have those that are so, 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 so weak in their faith. We have those that are trying, and then we have those that are completely weak. Uh, we have those, sorry, we have those that are strong in what? In faith. So the Bible tells us that we should go beyond ourselves. We should, uh, many of us have really tried and put in a, a lot of effort in understanding the word of God. We have faith, we do things as we are supposed to put them. But if we have not helped those that are weak to come to the level of strength that we are on, then we are pleasing ourselves. We are studying the word for ourselves and not for the sake of God. Because um, the reason as to why, one of the reasons as to why Jesus came to earth, and the main reason is to save man from sin. So if God's reason for coming to earth was to save man from sin, mm -hmm. he did his part, he preached the gospel, he left the disciples that were to preach the gospel further. The disciples preached to other people and that is how the chain has been coming going. So if we have had the word and if we have gotten strong in faith, what are we using the word for? What is our faith helping us to do? Are we being selfish by... Um, getting to know the truth and leaving it to ourselves or are we sharing it with those that need it more than us? Because however much understanding the word of God is, our, our main goal is to reach the heavenly kingdom. I think it does not gain us a lot to, you know, uh, have the heavenly kingdom alone without our neighbors. I welcome those that have been able to join us. Uh, I thank you. I thank you and thank God for the spirit that has helped us to keep on having these morning devotions. But even as we do encourage each other, 
even even as we do encourage each other to come for these devotions, how many people are we inviting? Um, Jerem, I will give an example of our brother Jerem, who has always and always continued to encourage us and send us those links tirelessly, even when we respond and even when we do not respond. That is the spirit of selflessness and serving beyond self that I'm trying to talk about today. Um, as the scripture says, mm -hmm. let me try to read from the message, the message Bible, it puts it also clear. Those of us who are strong and able in the faith need to step in and lend a hand to those who falter and not just do what is most convenient to us. In this case, in this case, as I try to explain further, what is most convenient to all of us? What is most convenient to all of you that have come here? We do have the married on this platform, for example. If your partner or if your wife or husband is trying and they have failed maybe to join, you can help them by simply tapping on them, simply encouraging them to do the, these devotions, simply encouraging them to read the Bibles with you, helping them grow in faith because weakness in faith does not come... Um, does not does not come only on those that are not in Christ. No, we also have people within the church that are weak in faith. We have our relatives, we have our children, we have our husbands. We should not encourage them. It does not gain us to be selfish with the word. It does not gain us to please ourselves. Yeah, uh, Daphne, I understand the Bible. I understand the scripture. I understand this E.G. White book. I understand the prophecy. And... After understanding it, what am I going to do with it? Let me help my neighbor. Let me help my husband. Let me help my spouse. Let me help my friend to gain strength just as I do. The Bible uses the word ought. I think that is the King James Version. Ought to bear. It is a responsibility left to us by God to carry these people's burdens of weakness. Because I believe when we go in heaven, the people that we, should, we will have helped gain strength in faith will be counted as the stars we have on our crowns. So this morning, this morning as we go to work and as we continue to do what we have to do, I leave you the first verse of chapter 15. As a, as a practice for that day. Tomorrow, as we come back again for the devotions, I believe we shall have invited and we shall have pulled our spouses, our sisters, our brothers to join in in this audio as we discuss the word. May God bless you. We shall continue from there tomorrow with the second verse, and by the end of the week, we shall build up the whole theme up to verse 7. Let's pray. Gracious Father, Lord in heaven, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for you, for you have helped us study the little or the many that we have studied this morning. As we continue with the rest of the day, bless us. Bless those that are traveling to work. Bless those that are staying at home. And we pray that may you help us enable, may you enable us come back tomorrow morning to study again in one peace and one love. In Jesus' name, we do believe and pray. Amen. <laughs>